Hello there, M. Strange here from the Strange School, and I just made another little custom action um, to allow Playmaker users to work with Keijiro Takahashi's awesome Sonar Effects action. It's one of the many free scripts he has on his GitHub page. So if you want to do this effect, I just want to make this real quick video to show you how to use it. So if you go to the Playmaker forum and the Share New Action section, that's where this is posted. I'll post this link in this video description. And the first thing you want to do is click on the GitHub link, and then here for the Sonar Effects package, you click it, and then click Raw. It will download the package, and then you click it. I already have it installed, so there's nothing to import, but you would just say OK. And then you will have this Sonar Effects folder in your assets, in your project. And the way this works, it goes on a camera, so you need to put it on a camera, so it renders the effect from a camera. So if we go to our camera and our scene, I'm just going to drag and drop the sonar effects onto the camera. And if you press play in your game, it will work just like this. Like you can use the script and adjust these things. But for a Playmaker user, this is good, but it's not as useful as it can be because usually we want to change these things. We want to set these variables from our Playmaker FSMs. So that's why I made the action. So you can change... Um, the origin of the spher spherical one on the fly, change the speed, all this stuff. Just giving us all the control that a coder would have with the regular script. So what we want to do is um, the action that I made, so it's here, there's a link on, in the Playmaker forums, it's on Snipped, but I also put it on the ecosystem, which you should be using with Playmaker, it's really the easiest way to get actions. So I have it installed, so I just go to Ecosystem, Ecosystem Browser, and then just type in Sonar. And I already have it installed, but if you don't, there will be a Get button here, and you just click that. And then the Sonar Effects action will be in your Playmaker Actions. So if you search for Sonar, it will come up. So you want to put this on an FSM on your camera or some other object that's pointing towards the camera, but the effect works only on cameras. So I'm gonna make this state, double click, and then now we can control uh, the script from this action. And I added one more thing to it that wasn't in the script, is that it will allow us to set a game object as our origin. So if we go into our scene here, and let's say you wanted the pulse to make it look like it's coming out of the sphere here. Let me just see which one this is. Okay, this one. So we can just, um, I'm confused again. Okay, this one, this is what I want, sphere one. So I can drop this in here, set it to spherical mode, and then the, oh, and I forgot. Also on the script, I added an enabled bool so you can turn it on and off so make sure this is enabled or or it won't work so you can go like that and so now it's the pulse is coming out of the sphere and this is a variable so you can change it on the fly and if you don't use this it's going to try to use this position so you can set this on the fly too just real basic um action functions but um, yeah, so you can just go through here and then the directional mode, when you're in directional mode, it's going to use this direction. And so it won't use any of this stuff that's only for spherical mode, so then change it to spherical mode. And yeah, everything else here just works like this script. So if you want to change it on the fly, just remember to do every frame, just like any other Playmaker action. I'm not doing anything new or different with that, but yeah. So that's how you install it and use it. So now we have this effect, um, hopefully really easy to use in Playmaker. And until next time, M.Strange from The Strange School saying bye.